Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and we're home from the races. And it's early in the day, but I'm gonna start supper by starting my cream corn from dried corn. Here I have about a cup to a cup and a quarter of dry, my home dried corn. This is the stuff that I cut off, um, I roasted in the oven and I cut off the cobs. Here I have two cups of milk. And I just want my pan to get good and hot. We want the milk to scald as we pour it in. You hear that? Then we're gonna bring it up to a boil. And then we're gonna pour our corn in. It's almost hot enough. I'm gonna turn the burner off. This is a heavy bottom saucepan, folks, so. All right, now that it's good and hot, we're stirring in our corn. That's all we're gonna do right now. Put the lid on it, and sometimes I like to just cover the lid with some oven mitts to keep the heat in. And we're just gonna let that sit, and we'll be back later. I'm gonna have to ask you to not look at the disorder of my kitchen, folks. I'm in the middle of canning. Now, here is the corn that I put with the scalded milk. I did that yesterday, and then I put it in the fridge. Now, we're gonna make some magic happen. We're gonna take a little bit of butter. I'm gonna turn this on. I know I'm using the bigger burner, but I'm gonna put this on in the bigger pot after I'm done what I'm doing. So I've got about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of flour there. Quarter cup of flour. You can use whatever starch, thickening starch you like. Now you can you also use cream, but I, uh, how he's got the cream hidden, because he knows if it's in the fridge, I'll cook with it. I just kind of want to melt and brown. Not necessarily even brown, just melt the butter and the flour together. And then we're going to add in a shot of milk. Not much, I'm going to say about a half a cup. And we're going to heat this up. I am making a mess. We're going to heat this up. And just until this is all nice and smooth. Don't necessarily want to thicken it this way just yet. But you do want the lumps of flour taken out. And then we do this. Whop! Just like that. And then we're going to bring this up to a simmer until it thickens, and then we're just going to put the lid on it and set it aside. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, you want to add some peppers in there, you go right ahead, maybe some pimentos for like a fiesta corn, but we're just making plain cream corn, and oh yeah. Some people will add sugar, but if you notice the yellow color of the milk, when this sat overnight, trust me, I tasted it. It's sweet enough. Here's my first can of beans of the year open. That's nice and thick. We'll turn the heat off. I'm just gonna put the lid on it and set it on the back of the stove until our chicken's cooked. Alrighty, I'm making Papa up his supper plate. And I did go ahead and add a teaspoon of sugar to this. Why? Because it made it taste more like the, the cream corn, canned cream corn I grew up with. Isn't that lovely? This is, this is a homemade cream corn with the dried roasted corn. Don't expect it to taste like canned. Corn's a little uh, tough. A little tough? Yeah. But it's not, it's not hard. You can't expect it to be like fresh corn either, right? No. How's it taste? Tastes good. 
All right. You want that now and again at supper? Huh. All right. Thank you. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, we all know how he's a little funny about texture, but I thought the cream corn was bloody delicious. So I'm going to keep it in the recipe book. Take care. God bless.